Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious candy corn milkshake and also a candy corn surprise cupcake. The milkshake is so festive and perfect for Halloween. And the cupcake, I know it kind of looks like a normal chocolate cupcake at first, but when you cut into it, you get an awesome candy corn surprise and it's so easy to do. And I cannot wait to show you guys how to do both of these. And by the way, I just did an update video about an hour or so ago on this channel if you wanna watch it, cause my channel is going to be changing. I'll link it down below. Let me know in the comments below if you like the milkshake or the cupcakes better. And if you try either of them out, please send me your photos on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So I'm gonna stop talking and get into the milkshake tutorial first. You just want to start with some softened vanilla ice cream. All I'm going to do is add some yellow food coloring to the bowl and mix it together so that your ice cream becomes really nice and bright and yellow, perfect for the bottom part of the candy corn. Pour it into my mason jar, which I think adds to making this drink look even more festive. And I got the mason jar from Michael's, it was like two dollars. And I actually dripped a little bit on the inside of the glass, so I'm just wiping it out with a paper towel so there's no streaks in my layers. So now I'm going on to the second color. I'm mixing red and yellow food coloring to make orange. You can also use orange sherbet for this layer. I actually couldn't find any bright orange sherbet. I could only find like yellow and orange swirl. You can use food coloring or orange sherbet. It's a very important part of the milkshake. You wanna make sure that you put the first layer in the freezer for about 20 minutes. It's nice and firm before you add the second orange layer. You really want to make sure it's firm or you're not going to get that really nice layered look to it. So I'm just adding the orange, leaving it in the freezer for another 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, I'm here I'm just showing you that I kind of shake it to make sure the layers are nice and even. So when that layer is firm, I'm just going to add my third layer with just plain vanilla ice cream to this. And then on top of that, I'm going to add some Cool Whip whipped cream because I think every good milkshake needs some whipped cream on the top. And then I just added some sprinkles and a fun little Halloween colored paper straw. And this is the finished milkshake. And as it melts and as you start to drink it, the layers kind of swirl together and you get a really cool marble effect to this. So you can use all vanilla ice cream like I did today, or you could use different flavors. This milkshake is so delicious and so festive and fun. And and I hope that you guys want to try it out. So now on to our candy corn surprise cupcakes. I'm just starting with a basic chocolate cupcake. Going about an inch away from the center of the cupcake, I'm just going to put my knife in at an angle and I'm going to feel to make sure that it's going pretty far in towards the bottom of the cupcake. And then you're just going to cut on an angle a circle around the whole top portion of your cupcake. And I made the mistake for the first time when I tried this that I didn't go deep enough. So you really wanna make sure your knife is almost to the very bottom of the cupcake. I have just like a little cone section piece. I'm just going to fill the cupcake. I'm just using a store-bought vanilla frosting for this. And I'm just going to put the white frosting first. Then I just used some food coloring like I did in my milkshake and I turned the white frosting yellow, putting the yellow layer next. Then I used more food coloring to make some yellow frosting and we're just finishing it off and kind of smoothing it down. Then you just want to take the section that you cut out and cut off the wedge part of it. That way you are just left with a nice flat top of your cupcake and you're just going to place this over all of your frosting and just kind of smush it down so it's nice and even and just kind of try to make it look as normal as possible. Then I'm just going to put a super thin layer of frosting on this. You don't want a thick layer because you already have the frosting in the center of the cupcake. Then I just put some candy colored sprinkles on top. I want to give you a quick example with another cupcake that I made that you don't have to worry about there being too much frosting in the middle, especially for people who don't like a lot of frosting. As you can see here with my example, you still have a ton of actual cake left and when you put the thin layer on top, it's the perfect amount of cake and frosting mixture. So don't worry about it being too much frosting. So here's the finished cupcake and I'm gonna go eat it now because it is delicious. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and wanna try out the milkshake or the cupcakes because they are so delicious and they are so cute. So yeah, I hope that you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more cooking, baking style videos, mainly for the holiday seasons coming up and I will do more of them for you guys. So thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you soon.